Hallelujah to the mighty God. After Jesus healed the man with infirmity for 38 years in John chapter 5, Jesus met him again at the temple in verse 14. He said, Thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse come upon you. Hallelujah. You see, after Jesus have healed him, Jesus gave him a warning. Sin no more, lest a worse come upon you. Because when you sin, devil mark you as one of his. And as such, he, he, will, he, will, he will be empowered to do all kind of things in your life, with your life. To dump all kind of things upon you. Hallelujah. You have to take a stand in Christ Jesus and resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Hallelujah to the mighty God. No matter any sickness that is, that is in your body right now, no matter how long it has been in your body, I declare upon you right now, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. That had made hold from that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the important thing. Sin no more, lest a worse come upon you. You see, sin no more, lest a worse sickness, a worse oppression come upon you. Hallelujah. He that sinned is of the is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Hallelujah. And for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that might destroy the works of the devil. When you sin, you break the edge of protection of God around you. And that gives the devil the chance, the opportunity to destroy. Hallelujah. You see, that's why Jesus says, sin no more. Receive that grace right now to sin no more. In the name of Jesus, you can do it. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You have to stand firm in the liberty that Christ has made you free. Hallelujah. And do not end Entangle yourself again with the yoke of bondage. Sin no more in the name of Jesus. Sin is a yoke of bondage. Hallelujah to the mighty God. You that you are struggling with addiction, pornography, sexual addiction, drugs, alcohol, masturbation. These are all the works of the devil. They are all the yokes of the devil. I decree upon you right now. Let those yokes of the devil be broken upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. You also need counseling. Go, go for counseling. I decree upon you right now. Let that yokes of the devil upon you be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You that you are losing memory. You're losing memory. Sometimes it seems you are, your mental ability is, 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 is failing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. You see that you forget things often. And in the name of Jesus, let that yoke of the devil be broken upon you right now in the name of Jesus. And if you know somebody going through this and losing memory, send this to them. Somebody that you feel their mental ability, capability is failing, send it to them. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's only through Jesus. You see, these yokes of addiction can be broken upon you. If you're listening right now, you have not received Christ through your Lord and Savior. It's only Jesus that can save you. There is power in the name, the name Jesus. There is power in the name, the name Jesus. Amen. That is why Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. If you want to say yes to Jesus now, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this moment. I believe you are the son of God. You died and God raised you from the dead. Forgive me of my sins. Be my Lord and Savior now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May the power of the name of Jesus, that power in the name of Jesus, break every yoke of addiction upon your life. Every works of the devil in your life, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Be set loose now in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.